In this video, we'll take a look at parallel circuits. Let's first define it in our concept catalog. A parallel circuit is a circuit in which each device has its own path. I drew a parallel circuit using the same elements as our last example of the series circuit. We have a 12 volt battery, resistor 1 is 3 ohms, resistor 2 is 1 ohms, and resistor 3 is 2 ohms. And um, same questions as before. Question A is find the current through um, through each device. So to do this, we're going to uh, actually find the current, and then part B is find the voltage across each device. Notice the language, current through, because the current is actually flowing through the wires and through the devices. Um, and the voltage is a cross, we measure it by touching those two wires from the voltmeter on each side. And then the third part here, part C, is find the power of each device. How much energy it converts each second. So to do this, we're going to make an RIVP table. And the first column is device. So we have our battery. R1, R2, and R3. The battery will put not applicable for resistance. We know it's a 12 volt battery. We know R1 is 3 ohms, R2 is 1 ohm, and R3 is 2 ohms. So, um, to find the current through each device, we have to know how much voltage is across each device. And this is a parallel circuit. So the big thing about parallel circuits is every device has the same voltage, whatever the voltage is of the battery. So R1 is going to be 12 volts, R2 is going to be 12 volts, and R3 is going to be 12 volts. Um, and we can see that because each of these light bulbs is directly connected back to the battery via through the wiring. It doesn't have to, the current doesn't have to go through any other light bulbs to get to each light bulb. So there's no energy loss and the voltage is the same as what the battery was. So what we can do here then is uh, we should highlight the current. I'm going to first draw, and you should do the same thing on your paper, I'm going to draw the current going through the first light bulb. And I can just do 12 volts divided by 3 ohms which is 4 amps. So that's going to be for R1. R1 doesn't care at all what's happening with R2 and R3 because they're their own path. As you saw in the lab, you can remove R2 and R1 and R3 will still stay lit. Let's uh, take a look at R2. I'm going to draw the current going through R2. To calculate that current, we use 12 volts again. This time divided by 1 ohm, we get 12 amps. And finally, I'll use black for the current through R3. Current is 12 volts divided by 2 ohms, which equals 6 amps. So we found the current through each light bulb. We haven't yet found the current through the battery. But we can see in the battery that these three currents are overlapping, so to speak. So the current through the battery is the sum of those three. 4 plus 12 plus 6 makes a sum of 22 amps. And what you should recognize here is that the sum of these is equal to 22 amps. And we should also recognize that these 12 volts, these are all equal. And this is actually what I just highlighted. That's, that's worthy of, uh, I'm going to do that in red, actually. That's worthy of a separate equation. So for parallel circuits, V, um, v of the battery, equals V of resistor 1, equals V of resistor 2, equals V of resistor 3, etc. 
um, for parallel circuits. And another thing we can notice here is that um, the current in the battery, I battery, equals I through resistor 1 plus I current through resistor 2 plus current I through resistor 3 plus dot 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 for any other resistors that are, that are added in. Okay, so these are two main equations for parallel circuits. And um, we've actually done the hard part. Now it's just a matter of doing the power. Power is current times voltage. We can add it in here. Power equals current times voltage. So 2 volts times 22 amps is going to be, oh, sorry, 12 volts times 22 amps is going to be, um, let's see here, 240 plus 24, 264. And we can do the same thing for the, the other devices. And that's watts. Don't forget the units. 4 amps times 12 volts is 48 volt, 48 watts. 12 times 12 is 144 watts. And 12 times 6 is 72 watts. Same idea as we saw with current. The sum of all these powers is, e is going to equal the sum, is going to equal the battery power. The battery is powering these three light bulbs. So whatever the power is of the light bulbs, add them up, and that's how much power the battery must have to be able to power those light bulbs. Um, so this is the example, and uh, you should do the two practice circuits that I've given you uh, in EDU. So I did the first one actually as an example, and you should try it on your own first, and then you should go look at my solution if you get stuck, and then you're on your own for the second circuit. All right, I'll see you in class.